it's me, Tara. Have you guys seen the trailer for Holmes and Watson yet? Starring Will Ferrell. Happy Christina. I think we should watch it together. Are you guys ready? Strap in, get your boots on, get your socks on, do whatever it is you guys do to get to get going here, you know what I mean? Your Majesty, may I present to you the greatest detective of all time, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. John Watson. I love you. Watson? Oh! Whew. What a looker, right? She is stunning. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. His methods are ingenious. Right there. He's a master of disguise. What have you done with Sherlock? Why, Watson? I never left. Oh, amazing. And his mind is brilliant. Angle of approach. Compensate for warp and floor. Termination of mosquito. Well done, Holmes. Oh, my God! Watson, stop panicking! in Buckingham Palace. Solve this case in four days or I will kill the Queen. Signed, Professor James Moriarty. Come, Watson. We have a killer to catch. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Shall we begin the autopsy? Dr. Grace Hart. A woman doctor? <laughs> Impossible. Fortunately, we have a real doctor here. Yeah. Would you like some heroin? Days left to live. Solve this case. Her Majesty, would you mind if we had a picture together? Watson, who's going to take the photograph? I will take it. You see, it's sort of a self photograph. He's a real fan. I swear, I never do this. Hey, girl! Hey, girl! Over by the window, the lighting's much better. Yes, yes. Oh my god! Mother of shit! Idiot Army, this looks so funny. Oh my god, I'm totally using mother of shit. Woo! It's like basically, since we don't get Step Brothers 2, we're just getting this one, which is fine. I mean, it's Riley and Farrell back together again in the saddle. Is that what you say? Do you say in the saddle? Is that a thing that people say? Did I just make that up? Well, if I made it up, it's great. We'll just use it in the saddle, right back in the saddle again. I tell you, it makes me want to grow up back in the day, right? Because then you just had to layer on clothes you wouldn't even have to worry about like weight or working out you know you're just always covered up from head to toe you got a hat on you don't have to do your hair I don't need to work out I don't got to do any butt exercises just let me put on this big old dress weighs about 30 pounds walk around a bit that's my workout that sounds like quite the delight right a little rhyme there for you oh my god that would be so great if I was in Buckingham Palace and then a murder happened and it was like let's play clue let's figure out who done it and then I'd be like yes more time in the Buckingham Palace. I would sneak into rooms that you're not supposed to go in and I'd be like, I think there's a clue in here. Just let me, I'm gonna go upstairs because I think pff, there's probably a clue up there. I think I saw somebody wander up over here. I know, it, I know it's roped off, but I feel like there might be a clue. So I'm just gonna pop up over here, right? I check out the whole palace. I find just a small little thing to steal that doesn't mean much to them, like a little notebook with paper in it. And then I would take a picture to prove that that notebook was found in the Buckingham Palace. And then I would write little notes to people, just like hashtag idiot army, right? And sell those pieces of paper for a thousand bucks each to be like, listen, it's paper from Buckingham Palace. Okay, so you know, trade some paper for some other kind of paper, the paper money. You get it? Like paper for paper. Come on now. Except your paper is going to be money. Moolah, Benjamins. And mine's just going to be paper from the Buckingham Palace. Boom, bada, boom. You know, people love that kind of stuff. Hey, right? It's going to be funny. All right, Indian Army, I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one.